Mm. You like these? No. Mr Drew has banned fizzy drinks, crisps and sweets at break time. But the school's healthy options aren't to everyone's liking. I'm getting out! And some of the boys decide to take matters into their own hands. Go get a packet of crisps for Joe, Jake and me. The accommodation blocks are off limits during school hours. I need a word with you because you're being bang out of order at the minute. Come on. But the boys are intent on breaking in to feast on the family's private supplies of chocolate and crisps. Why can't you just open the frigging door and they'll see? I haven't got because a key. We don't have a key. We won't get one. Hello, come in, though. We're going to have to be really firm with them on this now because they need to understand that this behaviour is not something that will be tolerated. Mr Drew arrives right on cue. Mr Grace, can we take them to the assembly hall, please, sir? See you in the assembly hall, Aston, thank you. See you in the assembly hall, Aston, thank you. See you in the assembly hall, Aston, thank you. I'm going somewhere else, I'm not going to the assembly hall. Bye. Despite his bravado, Aston soon joins the other boys in the assembly hall. Mr Grist, Mr Skinner, Mr Vidler, you were present at break time. Which of these young men are able to go off due to the fact that they made the right decisions? Dylan. D Dylan was regularly making the right decision. Dylan, please go and step outside the door and stand in the corridor and wait for Miss Skinner. Brought them all together in the assembly hall because it's important to be able to tackle issues when they arise. But what you always find is actually most of the boys don't need to be there. So we were able to send most of them away and we were left primarily with Aston and with Clark. We've got Joe and Jake and Max C. Right, say all the things that you feel the need to say and then I'll speak. Twelve-year-old Aston lives in South Wales with Dad Mark, oh. Mum Fiona, a mature student, and twin brother Dylan. <laughs> the boys' behaviour in general I would describe as a roller coaster. When they're good, they're very, very good, but when they're bad, they're wicked. <gasps> Aston! Aston at his worst is vile language. Oh my gosh. Words that would make your ears bleed. Both twins were excluded from their primary school. They were accepted into a mainstream secondary last year, but since then they've both been excluded again on a number of occasions. I was excluded before for fighting in the classroom with a boy. He went to punch me, so I ducked and then just punched him and whacked his head against the wall. I was allowed to play! The teachers don't feel that they can cope. Verbal aggression towards staff, hitting, fighting others and screaming. I don't really care if I get permanently excluded. I don't know it's people's fault for winding me up. All the stuff we've talked about, about doing the right thing, about behaving right, about accepting things, it just all goes out the window and we go back to square one, do we? Because that's what's now happened this morning. At this moment in time, your behaviour is so outrageous that when we get to the reward this evening, you will not take part. You can't behave in the way that you've behaved and expect me to reward you. You can't. Three of the boys accept their fate and head back to class. Jake, the same, please. Which leaves Aston and Clark. <laughs> Clark. Aston and Clark want a reaction. They want a shouting match, and I'm not going to give it to them. The behaviour of those two boys has gone beyond something that can be contained, and that takes a bit further. With no sign of an end to the standoff, Mr Drew decides to try a different tack. We'll wait for your mum to arrive, shall we? And summons the boys' parents. Of all the people who I'm most gutted and cross with at this moment in time, you're top of my list. So do you know what? However upset and cross you might be, I'm talking to Aston at the moment, Clark. It would be nice if you could give people some time on their own. Clark, it's not your time at the moment, it's Aston's. I think I'll have my time now. No, Clark, when it's your time, it'll be after we finish I with don't want to talk by myself, because no. I know that's just going to end up by me punching someone's face. At the moment, Clark, it's Aston's time. Thank you, Clark. Good you, Clark. Oh, just leave. Uh... How have we ended up here? I'm just hungry. And therefore, that means that everyone else has to be on the receiving end. Yes. Aston, I know you're not happy with this situation. 
and I'll take your silence as agreement. You could have handled it very differently. You could have handled it very, very differently. Can I suggest that's on a walk off with Mum for a period of time yeah. so we can start the day again? One down, one to go. 